So, I found Apple's dirty little secret with the uh, latest release of the iOS 4.2.1, if I'm correct. Uh, there's some neat things, and there are some things that really kind of just piss me off. Um, one of them being that, from what I can tell, you're not able to wirelessly print with your eye thing uh, unless you have a compatible wireless uh, printer. Which is kind of a piss off because I've got a $400 printer and I'm not about to go out and buy another printer just so I can print. Um, it's like, what the hell Apple. So I was watching a, a video from Soldier Knows Best on YouTube and he was explaining how you can purchase a program that will take care of that for you and it'll share those printers um, right from your 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 Mac or I think there's another version for the Windows but we don't really give a shit about that do we um, <laughs> and basically allows you to share the printers and you get to them um, over your Wi-Fi to your i things and yeah he also said there is there's another version of some kind of software I, th I think it was basically what what they stated it as is um, Apple released 10.6.5 but left some beta stuff in there and it looks like maybe the next release of the operating system will have uh, the ability to share out printers wireless over the Wi-Fi for those I things but they left a couple of pieces of software in there that allows you to do just that and I found a really short easy tutorial on how to uh, how to basically take over and allow your device to be shared that way and it's free it's a little more for the slightly advanced or intermediate but you know, don't worry about it, it's easy it's not like you uh, need a rocket scientist to put fi files in a folder so but I'll, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that real quick really short uh, quick tutorial alright once you download the zip file you'll end up with instructions and three files that will end up in two different folders uh, the easiest way to do this would be to open up the instructions file. It's pretty easy. Just copy from here all the way over to here for each of these three items. And you'll end up rebooting and deleting your printers and adding them again and this should be good. So, let's do this. First you want to copy the first item and you want to hit Command Shift G and you will paste that into the dialog that pops up. You hit go, bring you to a folder. This is a hidden folder so you can't get to this any other way besides using the terminal so if you're familiar with that that's another way to do it. Uh, grab this file here and you want to drag that into that folder there. I already have it there so I'm not going to do that. And the second part would be to copy the second part of the instructions file for the path and paste that in there. Again, that's Command Shift G. Hit go. And you grab these two files here. Both of them go in the same folder, so you don't have to worry about that. And you're going to want to copy those in there. Now, it's going to replace what you currently have there. Uh, so do yourself a favor and just back up this entire folder to your desktop or somewhere where you can retrieve it if there's an issue. Um, so far I haven't found any issues with anything really actually. So I'm not going to replace those because I already uh, put those in there. And that's all you got to do for file copying. Now let's go over to the system preferences panel for the print and fax. And you're going to want to remove that by hitting the minus sign there. I'm not going to do that because I already have. And restart your computer and when it comes back up if you don't have your printers listed here just go ahead and add those the easiest thing to do would be to hit the plus and select the printer that you want and hit add I don't need to do that because I already have and then you need to go back to your sharing and enable printer sharing over your network um, that's pretty much it alright so once you do that all you have to do is come up here once you've set up your stuff hit that button there hit print you can choose your printer I just have one going right now and you have the option to choose how many copies and if you want double-sided print if your printer supports that 
and you just hit print. And there you go. Wirelessly printed through the Mac. Now, unfortunately, your Mac or iMac has to continually be on all the time, apparently, it looks like. Uh, not a problem, because I leave mine on all the time. And there you go. Perfect. And the usual extra trash that comes with printing two pages, or printing from the web.